Uh, creating a pie chart on Classpad 2. Uh, now the only place we can actually do this is in the spreadsheet application so we'll tap in here and uh, here's the uh, number of downloads from the site. We've got 56 add-ins, 54 basic, uh, 19 documentation, 98 e activities. So we'll grab the keyboard and put in some um, text labels into the first column here using the ABC in capitals. Uh, add-ins first and in the second box basic b for basic uh, d for documents and e in the next box for e activities and the numbers 56 uh, 54 19 and 98 so we've got our data ready to go so um let's hide the keyboard away again for the moment we're going to select cells b1 to b4 by tapping and dragging straight away and then tap on graph and pie and it's that easy to basically create the pie chart so if we wanted to see what percentage each of these um sectors were by tapping onto the first sector here which is for the 56 you can see that's reflected down here cell b1 56 and that represents 25 percent tapping onto the next cell that's a smaller uh, 24 percent the smallest sector eight percent and the largest 43 percent um, if we chose to modify the data suppose there'd only been 40 e activity so i'll retype that one in at 40 as soon as i tap execute notice how the um, pie charts instantly updated another thing we can do is tap onto one of the uh, sectors and by changing the size of this sector we can observe how the um, the green sector here is for d uh, it's saying b3 here is the 19 if i enlarge that sector notice it works in reverse here by changing the sector the number in the spreadsheet is updated and let's do that one more time we'll increase the sector for there it's up to 49.5 so two ways of working um, with pie charts there